Hello again! Welcome to Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Again, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Lamen. And again, I will invite those na hindi makapag-review or kahit na mga undergraduates, you can try our GERTC Lite. Just click the Join button. Ha? Huh? Click wala yung join button and uh, you will have access to our whole review lectures uh, equivalent to 13 weeks of review lectures at 499 pesos a month. You can try that, subscribe ka ng one month and you have the option not to renew your subscription on the following month. Okay, so this is designed to those na hindi makakapag-review lalo lang ngayon, may pandemic pa. Habang may pandemic pa, you can try that. Alright? Okay, now... Uh, in this video, I will discuss the third part of the series, the open cylindrical tank. And this time, the tank is already a half full of water. Ito yun. Half full of water. Alright. Ito siya, no? Okay, so an open cylindrical, cylindrical tank, 1.2 meters in diameter and 2 meters high, contains 0.8 meters deep of water. So 0.8 meter, uh, less than half full. So 1 meter yung gitna niya, so 0.8 meter siya. So meron siya 1.2 meter on top. So the tank is rotated about its vertical axis at 120 RPM. Ang tanong dito, how much water is spilled out? Okay, so sinulat ko na lang yung mga data dito, mga given, okay? So, H, omega, and then the empty space 1.2, the radius of the tank, and, okay. Now, ang tanong ngayon, meron bang matatapon? How will you know that with this omega, may matatapon na liquid? Okay, yung kanina, yung first two examples natin, part 1, part 2, so, those, the tank is more than half full, so I've already explained, na, how it works. Now, what will happen kung less than half full? Ito yung mangyayari dyan. Kapag inikot natin yan ng small omega lang, magiging ganito yung configuration niya. The H over 2 still applies. Natural. Palagi yan. Kasi nasa geometry property yan. Okay? Uh, the volume of the paraboloid of revolution is one half the volume of the circumscribing cylinder. Okay? Ganun yan. Now, kapag binilisan natin yung ikot, aabot na yung vortex niya sa ilalim, samantala yung base niya hindi pa umabot sa taas. Ganun yan. Ha? Huh? Kung more than half full yan, kung more than half full, kapag umabot na yung vortex sa ilalim, may masispill na. Kung more than half full, kapag less than half full, it will not be the case. Now, kapag binilisan pa natin yung ikot niya, magiging ganito na yan. Ha? Huh? So, ito yung maximum omega na walang matapon. The base will just reach the top. But there will now be an imaginary parabola sa ilalim. Kasi less than half full siya. Kapag more than half full yan, sigurado na may matapon niya. Ha? Kung may imaginary parabola ka sa ilalim. But since we are, we started with less than half full, ito na yung initial, binilisan natin, magtatouch siya sa ilalim. Pag binilisan mo pa, may imaginary ka na, ayan, meron ka na doong magdadating na or magtatas niya siya sa taas. Ngayon, uh, ito yung susolbin natin. Before we entertain this one, before we compute the volume spill, let's derive the formula relationship for the value of y, uh, relationship of that y and that height, and that height of the tank, when the base touches the top. Makukuha din natin yung maximum omega without spilling any water. Okay? Ito yung big difference. Doon sa, less, uh, sa more than half full, ang titinan lang natin doon kung may matatapon is the y over 2. Dito, hindi. Okay? Ito yung gagawin natin. Ito yung gagawin natin. So, bago natin compute yung 120, ha? pero pwede natin i-check. Okay? So, with x equals r, ano ba yung height ng parabola dito? With x equals r, which is equal to 0 0.6, the height of the parabola y is equal to omega squared. By the way, your omega here must be in radius per second, ha? Times r squared divided by 2g. So, 2.897. Pero we cannot still, hindi pa natin masasabi na may matatapo na yan or wala. Ha? Okay, so we have to check. 
So, let's derive the formula. Ito yung ating, for, uh, ito yung ating relationship. So, kung walang matapon, so we will compute the maximum value of y na walang matapon. The maximum value of omega. So, the equation will be the initial volume of air, which is this one, equals the final volume of air, which is this paraboloid of revolution. Okay. The initial volume of air, VAI, I'll just say it, call it VAI, equals pi times r squared, okay, times the height of air, which is A, which is 1.2, and that will be capital H minus small h. Capital H minus small h. I'll just put it like that na lang muna. Ha? Okay. And then, the final volume of air, VA final, equals, okay? Ah, sandali. I'll just take this. Okay. Patient. The final volume of air is the volume of the big parabola, which is pi r squared y, one half, one half times pi times r squared times the height of the parabola. Okay? Minus ito. Small parabola sa ilalim. One half pi x1 squared y1. One half times pi times x1 squared times y1. Okay, take note, your y1, by the way, is y, malaki, ah, the height of the big parabola minus the height of the top. Y minus h. Ah, mamaya na lang natin isa picture. Now, we have here x1. So, we can relate x1 to the parabola, no, to x and y, you see the square property of parabola, di ba? So, by square property of parabola, we know that the square of y, x over y is constant. Okay? x1 squared is to y1, as x squared, or r na lang yung gamitin ko, ha? r squared is to y. Diba? Uh, square property of parabola yan. So, kung solve natin yung x1 squared natin, then your x1 squared is equal to r squared r squared over y times y1. Okay na? Then, ilagay natin ito doon. Lagay natin ito dito, ha? Lagay natin. I'll just copy that here. And then, ipipaste ko yung value na yan dito sa x1 squared. Palitan ko yan dito. Okay. Ha. Final volume of air. Or pwede natin yung ma-simplify further. Okay. And it will now, kunin ko na lang to. And then, gagawin ko tong y1 squared. And take note, my y1 is equal to y minus x. Sige, i-equate na natin ha. Initial volume of air equals the final volume of air. Initial volume of air equals the final. The initial volume of air is ito. Tapi-paste na lang ako. Tapi-paste. Okay. Diderive pa yung formula. Okay. Equals. I'm oh, sorry. The final volume of air ay ito. Okay. Okay lang. And then, I will uh, replace this y1 with y minus capital A. Okay? And then, I will let MathCAD solve for y. The pi r squared cancels out. And simplifying that, wala lang natin i-detalye, ik. Ito ang lumabas. Uh, wala na masyadong detalye para mabilis. Okay, y equals ito yung formula. Now, very important tong formula to. Ginamit ko na to kanina. Kung napansin nyo in part 2. So, dinerive lang natin yung ating formula. Now, Paano ba ito i-apply? Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? So, ito yung height ng parabola. Da? Max, a height ng parabola na walang matapon na liquid. So, if you compute that, 
I'll just call this uh, Y Y A na lang mo na Y A para okay. Kasi siya. Look, 2.5 meters. So meaning at 120 RPM, the height of the parabola is 2.89. Lagpas na ng 2.5 meters, may matapo na. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng 2.5 meters na to, ito yung maximum Y niya na walang matapon. Okay? So, kasi, okay, at 120 RPM, 2.89 na, may matapo na siya. Okay? In fact, pwede mong masolve yung maximum omega without spilling. We can you, we can use this Y here. Pwede natin gamitin yung Y na yan. Then, I'll just call this omega max. Omega, maximum omega without spilling is equal to the square root of 2 times G times yung Y na yan divided by R squared. So, yun, no? Okay? Kung gawin ko tong RPM, okay, 111.46. 111.46. So, 120, may matapo na talaga. I hope you get this principle. Now, question ngayon. Paano mo masolve yung volume of water na matatapon? We only have this formula. Ang gagawin natin ganito. We know that with this omega of 120 RPM, the height of the paraboloid is 2.8975. 2.8975. So, gagawin natin ngayon, we will use this value of y to the formula we derived. Makukuha natin yung h. Kunin natin yung h. Ha? Ah, take note ha, ito yung value ng y 2.8975 Ang value ng h na yan I will call this hf Hf Explain na lang Explain ko mamaya kung ano yan Equals h squared Divided by 2 times y Okay, I call it uh, uh, 2 y so, 0.6 y Anong ibig sabihin nito? So meaning Kapag pinahinto ko yung ikot ngayon, okay, after uh, this rotation, ipastop natin yung rotation. Ito na yung naging y niya, di ba? Pag stop niya ng rotation, yung magiging depth ng water niya is now 0.69025. It's no longer 0.8. It's no longer 0.8. Huh? Kaya kapag maghinto yung ikot ng ating cylinder, ito na yung ating bagong level. Ito yung ating HF. Ayan. Kaya meron siyang delta H. Change in level. Masasolve na natin yung delta H. Okay? So, your delta H uh, equals the original level uh, H minus HF after rotation. Okay? That's 0 0.10975. Guess yun? Then, makuha na natin yung volume spill. Ito na ngayon yung ating volume speed. Okay? And that will be the area of the cylinder times the delta H. So, yung volume spill is equal to pi times R squared times delta H. Okay, 124.12 meters. Maliwanag. Ah? Okay, so I hope... Uh, Nag-gets nyo yung formula ng ito. Ha? So, applicable lang ito kung yung tanki mo. Or, okay, I, I could say this. Ito yung relationship ng ganitong klase. Whether the tank is half full or not. Basta yung base ng parabola nasa taas. And then, may imaginary parabola ka na, na nasa ilalim. This H is the height of the tank. The height of the parabola. And that, what is that H? That's the height of water when the parabola or when the rotation stops. Yung H, the height of water. Not necessarily initial height. Basta yun na yung relationship niya. Okay? So, na-expand natin yung ano. Kasi yung dati yung sa book ko, iba yung way ng, iba yung manner ng pag-solve ko. Ah? So, ito, sinimplify ko ng sinimplify. And then, I came up with this. And this is much easier. Okay? So, I hope you learned a lot from this video. So, Please don't forget to subscribe and try our GERTC guide. It's for 599 pesos a month for the whole review session. 
okay so you can try for one month and then you have the option not to renew your subscription on the following month okay so thank you so much for watching